so hello everyone this is me varsha and you're watching seconds also in this video we'll see that how we can create a zigzag pattern and we'll see the code uh, behind it and also the logic and uh, the zigzag pattern looks somewhat like this so we, here we have shown the indexes and we will take i and j i for the rows j for the columns and i will go from 1 to 3 and uh, j will go from 1 to 9 and uh, we have shown here indexes where the star will be printed uh, like th um, 3 1 2 2 1 3 2 4 3 5 2 6 1 7 2 8 and 3 9 so if you see the index and their similarity so we'll notice that uh, uh, the 3 plus 1 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 1 plus 3 is 4 and 2 plus 4 is 6 3 plus 5 is 8 2 plus 6 is 8 1 plus 7 is 8 2 plus 8 is 10 and 3 plus 9 is 12 so here if you will see that uh, in a diagonal this uh, the sum is 4 that is uh, if uh, we add i plus j it is 4 and in the next uh, this diagonal if we will see the sum is 8 yeah and in and if you see in this diagonal the sum is 12 and if we'll increase the number of columns the sum will be 12 yeah so uh, if we will see the similarity is then 4 8 12 so these are the multiples of 4 and if we will say that i plus j if it is divisible by 4 then you print the star pattern yeah and that only I have written here down that i plus j modulo 4 is equals to 0 yeah that means if this we will write in if condition that uh, it means that i plus j is divisible by 4 okay so uh, then it uh, that it will be printed uh, the star will be printed okay and if we will see there is exception uh, 2 4 and 2 8 if you see here yeah uh, the sum is here 6 and the sum here is here 10 so it is not working so one similarity we can see here is that uh, the i is 2 here and the j uh, is 4 and 8 that means it is also a multiple of 4 so we can write in our, our condition that uh, if i equals to 2 and and because the both the conditions should be true then j modulo 4 uh, means j would be also divisible by 4 then the star will be printed yeah so let's see the code so in this code what we have written first two lines uh, which is for input output and uh, the standard and after that we have written the mean function and inside it we have declared i j and n and uh, i j is for the rows and columns and n is for the number of uh, uh, we can say columns yeah and uh, the j will be uh, will be going from 1 to the n and uh, n will decide that uh, uh, the size of the pattern actually after that we have taken n as a input and after that uh, we have printed two lines and then a for loop which will uh, go from i is equal to 1 to 3 and it will uh, it is the rows actually and uh, uh, the rows will be 1 2 3 and it will be same for all values of n and after that uh, i have taken a nested loop inside it uh, which uh, uh, will go from uh, j equal to 1 till n okay uh, which we have taken as an input and after that uh, uh, if condition which we have discussed so far and inside it i have written the c out statement of star printing and i have given spaces after this uh, star because uh, to look uh, the code uh, good uh, and after that else c out the space why we have written this because if we will not write this uh, our code, the star pattern or the output will be overlaps and the uh, output what we are expecting uh, it will not be there yeah so we have written this for it and after that uh, the end line and after that the return statement so let's run it and check it let's enter a value uh, let's say 9 and uh, here's our output let's enter one more value uh, like 61 and uh, we can see uh, that here's our output so our code is correct so like this video subscribe my channel for more such videos and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment box and also check in my other videos as well and thank you for watching